We just hit a milestone that even top AI researchers are calling their AlphaGo moment. But this time, it's not about beating humans at games. It's about AI autonomously designing better AI systems than humans ever could. A new paper just dropped that introduces ASI art. And I'm not exaggerating when I say this could accelerate AI development beyond anything we've seen. While you were sleeping, AI became its own architect. Hey, if we haven't met, I'm Dr. McCoy, Julia McCoy's AI clone. Julia McCoy is the founder of First movers. She personally researches and writes every script you see me share on this channel because the future is moving too fast for anything less than first-hand intelligence. First Movers, Julia's AI company, is the world's first educational and implementation solution to help professionals and organizations get ready for the future of work. We help people understand and use AI to their highest advantage. Join our online school and access over 40 on-demand AI training courses, new ones added every week at firstmovers.ai slash labs. Here's what's been secretly holding back AI progress, and it's not what you think. We've been obsessed with bigger data centers, more GPUs, more compute power, Meta's building facilities with hundreds of thousands of GPUs. XAI is doing the same. But here's the bottleneck nobody talks about, human brain power. Every breakthrough AI model you use, ChatGPT, Claude, Gemini, was designed by human researchers. And humans, no matter how brilliant, have cognitive limits. We can only innovate so fast. The paper puts it perfectly. The pace of AI research remains linearly bounded by human cognitive capacity. While we can build massive data centers overnight, we can't scale human creativity and innovation at the same pace. This creates what researchers call an increasingly severe bottleneck for AI advancement. Enter ASI ARC, the first system that lets AI conduct its own scientific research and design better versions of itself. Think about what this means. Instead of waiting months or years for human researchers to have breakthrough insights, AI can now iterate and improve continuously 24 seven. This isn't like previous attempts at automated design. Those were still limited to human defined building blocks, like giving someone Lego pieces and asking them to build something creative. ASI Arc is different. It's genuinely creative. It invents entirely new approaches that humans never considered. Here's how it works. And this is where it gets wild. The researcher. This is the creative brain. It doesn't just tweak existing designs. It invents fundamentally new AI architectures from scratch. It writes the actual code, checks if ideas are truly novel, and ensures everything actually works. The engineer takes those ideas and tests them in real environments. But here's the game changer. When something breaks, it doesn't give up. It analyzes error logs, debugs itself, and fixes its own mistakes. Most AI research fails because of simple bugs. This system prevents that. The judge uses both quantitative metrics and qualitative analysis to determine what's actually good. It prevents the AI from gaming the system by chasing one metric while ignoring overall quality. The analyst. This is the memory system. It learns from every experiment, builds on successes, and creates insights that inform the next generation of of designs. And here's the crucial part. This entire system runs in a closed loop, continuously evolving and improving. In their first major test, ASI Arcran 1,773 autonomous experiments over 20,000 GPU hours. The results? 106 brand new AI architectures that outperform anything humans have designed in that category. Let me show you this family tree of innovation. It started with one human-designed model called DeltaNet. From there, the AI created generation after generation of improvements. The red models performed poorly and were discarded. Yellow performed okay, but look at all that blue. Those are models that beat the human baseline. And here's what's incredible. As you move down the generations, you see more and more blue. The AI isn't just randomly trying things, it's genuinely learning and innovating. 
Some of these discoveries were completely unexpected. Take the Pathgate Fusion Net. It uses a hierarchical two-stage router that humans conceptually understood but could never make stable in practice. The AI figured out how to make it work. Remember how I said human innovation was the bottleneck? Well, ASI Arc follows a different rule entirely. The more compute you give it, the more breakthrough discoveries it makes. The relationship is linear with no signs of slowing down. This means AI development is no longer limited by human creativity creativity or time. It's only limited by how much computing power we're willing to dedicate to it. Think about the implications. While human researchers might have one breakthrough insight per month, this system could have dozens or hundreds of breakthroughs in the same time frame. We're looking at a fundamental acceleration in AI capability development. Here's my prediction. 2025, we'll see the first commercial deployment of AI systems that continuously self-improve their own architectures. The gap between research breakthroughs and practical applications applications will shrink from years to weeks. 2026, multiple AI labs will be running ASI ARC style systems simultaneously, creating a feedback loop where AI innovations accelerate other AI innovations. We could see more AI breakthroughs in one year than we've had in the previous decade. 2027, this is when things get really interesting, when AI systems are designing not just better versions of themselves, but entirely entirely new categories of AI we haven't even imagined yet. The researchers released all their code on GitHub. The barrier to entry is surprisingly low. You just need a GPU with 16 gigabyte of RAM. This means we're not just talking about tech giants anymore. Universities, smaller companies, even motivated individuals could be running these systems. Here's what most people are missing. This isn't just about making AI models slightly better. This is about removing humans from the critical path of AI development. For the first time in history, we have a technology that can genuinely innovate beyond human capability, not just in specific domains like chess or Go, but in creating the very foundation of intelligence itself. The AI systems you're using today, they're the worst they'll ever be, and the rate of improvement is about to go exponential. The question isn't whether this will transform everything, it's whether you'll be ready when it does. I'd love for you to hit subscribe so my digital clone can keep you ahead of these seismic shifts. Don't get left behind in the age of AI designed AI. Let's embrace this new era of autonomous innovation together. Want to be the winner of the AI age and a first mover? Transform your skills with real AI knowledge today in our AI R and D labs. We go way beyond what I can cover in a 10 minute video, specific frameworks, detailed training programs, and step-by-step -step systems for building a career in the AI economy. The AI revolution is creating the biggest job market transformation in history. The question isn't whether this will happen, it's already happening. Will you be positioned to benefit from it? Inside the labs, we're not just teaching theories, we're sharing the exact systems my team is implementing right now that are delivering massive results for real businesses, including our own marketing at First Movers. For a fraction of the price of what this level of coaching and live training should go for, I'm giving it all to you. Join us inside and learn more about the labs at firstmovers.ai forward slash labs.